All right, welcome to this week's Gig Masters updates, previews, and reviews. We've got a lot to go over tonight. Um, I tell you what, let's get started right into it. The boat, you know, I'm always got doing something with the boat every week. Y'all remember last week I showed that the two runners on the boat, one of them had actually flipped sideways. It's actually on a boat that flips up and down, and it had flipped sideways. The boat was actually a little bit off and almost touching the uh, wheel well. Well, I got a fix for it. It's the same thing that happened to my last boat, and I fixed it the same way. And uh, hopefully, maybe if some of y'all had the same problem, it might help you out. Just remember one thing. This is only good for a flat-bottom boat. This only works for a flat-bottom boat. It will not work for a V-bottom, so be careful about that. Let's check out the video right here. Here we go. All right, y'all starting one video. This, this right here is turned sideways. I was able to just take a hammer and tap it up and get it straight again. Now what we do is run a piece of two by four across here, screw it into this so it will not flip over again, and he should help guide the boat back on the trailer every time. Anyway, that's the that's the thought pattern anyway, putting that board across. Otherwise, when you come up here sideways and this little rib here hits this right here, thing on the side, it'll actually flip it over. So with this new two by four, hopefully that will prevent that from happening again. So let's go ahead and cut one to fit and get her screwed on. All right, if y'all remember before, this was actually touching this fender. You can see where it's hit it before and actually um, put a little mark in it right there because that was before I got this boat that did that. So that thing's probably been like that for a long time, maybe. I don't know. And they didn't realize it done it. I didn't realize it, it was over either. So we got it straight now. So we're going to just get that two by four over there and I'll show you that process right now. All right, we got our wood cut. We got it marked. We're going to drill our holes out to mount this underneath to the two boards at the bottom of the trailer. And we're going to get ready to drill those out, mount them, and we'll be good to go. We won't have to worry about that thing flipping over on me again. All right, we just about got it tightened up here. We got the first one in, as you can see, going from runner to runner. Now that's going to keep this flat. Both runners could not twist on me now because they got this board right here locking them into place right there. I tell you what, I like it. I did this to my last boat. Ah, hard as I can get in here. Ah. Okay, she's good and tight. All right, we're going to put one more up front, and we'll be done. Gene, how we looking over there? Looking good, Steve. About got it? Let go. <laughs> Last one, Gene's finishing up the other side over there, and I think we got them bolted up good and tight. One in the back, one in the front. I just telling Gene, if somebody wants me to pull a V-bottle on here, I'm not going to be able to do it. But as you see, my entire boat's flat, so it's not going to hit anything coming up here. So, All right, that's one problem eliminated. That when we're at the boat ramp, it flips over, can't get it up, or loads wrong, we're not going to have that problem. All right, after I did that repair on my last boat, never had a problem with that. After that, never twist, none of them did, didn't have any problem. Um, I'm going to probably go back on in, tighten them all up as best I can. It's, you know, sometimes salt water to get really corroded. I bought a whole kit that can replace all of them if I have to. So tighten up till it snaps, so I just put a new bolt on it. But we'll get that fixed too. Couple of things. We still got a few little eyes and then we'll work on, but it's ready to go now. We can take it out anytime now. All right, I want to talk again about the glass. Uh, Y'all seen uh, Buddy and I have been trying to melt the 1700s bottles glass to make something kind of cool out of it, right? Y'all, uh, well, I tell you, first of all, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a quick clip here because I took the old mold that was cracked. Put it in the fire and tried it one more time. It was actually cracked in half of it. And tried just to see what it would do. Check out this video here. I'm going to do a take two of my melting some glass here. I'll show you what I got here. I got some uh, glass from Buddy and put in here. And we're going to get ready to heat up. As you know, the mold is broken and it could go bad anytime. It's got some cracks in it right here. So we're going to see how it does. This was cracked too. Might try that. But this is some um, glass that Buddy had broke up that he had brought me. So we're using some of that. He cleaned it up with... I didn't have mine quite as clean as he did. So we're going to give it a shot right now. Let's crank it up. All right, we got a good fire in the hole. And uh, let's zoom in here. The glass is already glowing red hot down in there. I brought it up pretty fast, but we'll see how it goes. All right, the bowl did give away. We knew it had cracks in it, and it did give away. She's glowing red down there. But uh, and it doesn't look like it melted all the way, and I had it high as I could go. So we're going to have to reevaluate what we can do here. Uh, Buddy's got a few little suggestions. He just talked to a glass blower today. So we'll be showing you some of that later on. 
Well, as you can see, that mold is done. It cracked all up, and I must have had enough of my nitrous stuff in there because these things, last time they popped right out, this was not popping out like that. So, anyway, that ceramic, this made a ceramic. Uh, we got a couple things we're going to try. Uh, this is actually a ceramic bowl here that you actually melted into. Can't make anything out of that, but I, I had I had this from before when I used to melt gold. I had um, some molds here that I would actually melt gold in so I could make little balls of gold. And I actually have this right here. It's called a graphite mold. It's not ceramic, it's graphite. And I don't think the graphite's going to break like these other ceramics did. This is why I used to melt my gold in to make little nuggets out of right there. So we're going to test this. And actually, Buddy and I are going to a uh, museum that has a display that act they actually do the glass blow and actually you can rent the molds, uh, the kilns over there and test it. So we might try to go to do some testing tomorrow. I'll try to make a video of them actually doing, the people that know how to, what they're doing, how they do it. And we'll be able to question them on what we're trying to do and hopefully um, see what they, see what, uh, see what they, pointers they can give us. Um, so anyway, that'll be on another video. That's gonna be pretty cool, I think. Um, and I, I'm thinking, I actually bought this right here. It's a solid block of graphite. I can actually go into the diagram and cut any design I want in here. My ultimate goal is to cut a design of a mallet bottle in here and have it melt into it. But man, that's, that's a ways off yet. So that's, that was my goal why I bought that. But we'll see how it goes on that. Um, we got some uh, upcoming videos. Y'all saw the video um, uh, yesterday. I'll be tomorrow. The next video coming out will be uh, digging with the uh, GPR, getting some more anomalies, and actually digging the pit, some pits out. And you know, we'll show you some good finds on that too. That's coming out in the next video. Um, I did have, y'all saw me, I think I talked last week about the bird band in one of my videos anyway. I found a bird band. And it actually, uh, I actually had to go online and document where the bird was found and all. And it actually sent me a little certificate. It's a USGS Certificate of Appreciation Award of Steve Andrews. It goes in and says um, uh, the location it was it was in. It was hatched in 2001, Witten, Worcester County, Maryland. And it was a uh, wood duck hatched in 2001. It's pretty cool, male wood duck. They send you a little certificate when you fill out everything online. They use those to track how far birds fly, get some history on them and everything. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I tell you what. Let's do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a, a, a face mask. And what I'm going to do right now is go in all the comments from last week. And uh, you got to be USA. Even though I did ship one to Canada. If, if you in Canada got your mask, please let me know in the comments below. I did ship one because I hadn't said that before. So we give it a shot. But anyway, let's, let's try to use USA this time. And uh, make sure you do a comment in this video. Just any comment down below about the videos, what you want to see in some future videos maybe, or whatever you want to comment down, comment down below, sir, because that's what I'll be picking from. Might do one next week, so you never know. I'll keep you guessing. But we'll do one right now. Let's go do a giveaway right here. All right, we have the YouTube Random Comment Picker. All right, we're going to put the video right here, the link to it right here. And we're going to filter out any duplicate users right here. And we're going to go get all the comments by clicking this button. There's 19 different comments. So then we go down here and hit Start Wrap and pick a random winner. Go! And it's looking for a random winner. And we got Harold Perry. Love the videos. You make me want to move to Virginia. I hear you, Harold. Virginia is a great place. All right, congratulations. I'll get that face mask right out in the mail. Don't forget, gigmaster2718 at gmail.com. I'll put it up there. Um, all right, well, we got a, I got another um, fossil hunting adventure coming up here in the next day or two. As long as the weather holds out, we're going to be going out to a place that you've seen me go before. Really cool spot. Hopefully, we'll get a lot of fossils there. Um, Got a lot of plans. Got a lot of stuff in the works. So stay tuned. We got some good videos coming out this summer, with it, especially with the boat. You know we're going to be hitting that board with the boat for too long. Um, all right, I think that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody coming along tonight to get uh, updates and previews and reviews. And uh, we'll be uh, hitting the ground tomorrow. Stay tuned. Appreciate everybody co coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gigmas. I almost forgot. Thanks for coming along.